Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Halloween breakfast. Everyone's all about the candy and of course so am I, but let's face it, Halloween starts the second you get out of bed. I'm going to show you how to make a really fun and really simple breakfast that's going to get the day started right. The things you're going to need for your Halloween breakfast, I've got some strawberry topping, blood red. I've also got a serrated edge cookie cutter and a really, really small cookie cutter. I'm using some boiled eggs. Now our eggs here are brown, so I've got one peeled because I want my eggs white. I'm gonna use an edible marker. I've also got a slice of cheese, a piece of bread. I've got an apple, some currants, which are tiny, tiny raisins or sultanas, a nice, sharp, deathly looking knife, and a stack of pikelets. Pikelets are basically miniature pancakes. You can bake your own or you can buy them pre-done. However you want your pikelets served, make sure they're small and the stack is high. Let's get started. So first up, we're gonna make, I'm gonna call it cheese on ghost. It's actually ghost cheese on toast, but cheese on ghost sounds cool. So I'm gonna freehand a ghost if you wanna print out a template of a little ghost and use that. A little bit of a head. I want this one to be quite big, so I'm coming in at an angle. And out to a stubby little arm, and then down into a nice little point. My first ghost, and I'm gonna place my ghost straight on my toast. It's just bread at the moment. We're gonna grill it. And then I sort of thought it needed a little bit of something extra, so I'm gonna take just some of the leftover cheese and just do like a little half ghost kind of popping out from this side. Now we have two ghosts on toast. I'm gonna to use currants, and I went with currants because they're small enough, sultanas would be way too big here. So you want two little currant eyes, and then I just took another currant and squished it to make it a little bit bigger to create like the O of a ghost mouth. Once I've picked out my little eyes and mouth, I'm actually going to take them off because I don't really want to cook them with the cheese. I want to stick them on while that cheese is all melted, warm and gooey. So I'm going to set them to the side and then I'm going to put my toast on a tray or you can pop it into a toaster oven. I'm going to grill mine in a regular oven. While my ghost cheeses are grilling, we're going to make a poisoned apple. It's really just a regular apple, but I figure we should have a piece of fruit in our breakfast because it's a good start to the day. So I'm gonna use my serrated edge little cookie cutter. I'm using this so it looks like teeth. Chomp on into that apple all the way around and make like a big gruesome bite. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of strawberry sauce. I'm gonna squeeze it straight into the bite. Kind of like drizzle it around a little bit. It's supposed to look a little bit bleeding, a little bit poisonous. And pop it straight down on my little tray. Now, moving to a not so healthy component, we're gonna use our little pancakes or pikelets. You want the top two to remain whole and the rest of the bottom ones we're going to core just a little tiny circle out of. Leave the very bottom one whole as well because we kind of need him to catch all of the sauce so it doesn't spill out everywhere on the plate. Take out a hole and place it on top. Take out a hole, place it on top. Starting to see a pattern here. You want to make sure this is a nice high stack. In my opinion, this is the best part of the breakfast. All right, so I'm going to place mine the back in the middle I want them to be quite a feature and then I'm going to take some more of that red strawberry sauce fill that little gap in the middle and then add my two top pancakes and then I'm going to take some of that strawberry sauce and make sure it looks nice and bloody and disgusting on the top and spilling over the edges and then you want to take your sharp knife and if you're serving this to kids then modify the knife choice but I think this one looks kind of murdery and we're just going to stab that straight in and serve them just like that. Just murdered pancakes. All right, on to our eggs. So I'm working with boiled eggs today. I've hard boiled the egg because I don't want it to be at all soft or flexible. You want to take your edible marker and your egg and we're going to make this a Jack Skellington egg. I'm just going to draw on some Jack Skellington eyes and feel free to print out a picture of Jack here if you want to or you could turn into something else equally as spooky but I think the shape of an egg and the whiteness just makes it perfect for a Jack Skellington piece. I've peeled mine because I'm working with a brown shell today, but if you're working with a white shell, you can use a permanent marker, a Sharpie, instead of using an edible marker. Really simple, really effective, and fun to get the kids involved with. All right, I'm gonna pop that in an egg cup and in it goes into my little breakfast display. My ghost on toast is done, fresh out of the oven, and before I add that to my plate, I'm gonna add on my little current mouth and little current eyes to each of those little ghosts. In my opinion, this is the perfect way to start your Halloween off. It's disgusting, it's nutritious, it's delicious, it's bloody and it's gruesome. If you haven't already checked out some of my other Halloween videos, I have so many of them. I'll link to the Halloween playlist down below and you can check out some other really cool spooky sweet treats for the season. 
If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always guys, thanks very much for watching and happy Halloween.